This video is the behavior plan um, for the art room. So it's going to teach you what my rules are, what my expectations are, and what happens if you don't follow those rules. So you should have a sheet that looks like this. That's your behavior contract. And you should also have your boot camp number two. So on the boot camp number two, it says the rules. Be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and be an ally. So what does that look like in the art classroom? Anytime you need to pause the video, please pause it so that you can write your answers here on your um, boot camp number two. So right by where it says be respectful, here's what I expect in the art room. Um, of course, we are going to speak respectfully to each other. So there should never be any name calling or anything that makes someone feel bad. All right. So be kind should be number one. But we also want to be respectful of people's learning space. So that means we're also using academic language. We're not using cuss words. And we are speaking at a level two. How I'm speaking right now is about a level two. This is a level one to be really quiet. And we should really never get to three, four, or five in this classroom. So beside be respectful, you can write be kind, use academic language, and speak at a level two. Number two. Be responsible. What does that look like in the art classroom? First, it means to sit in your assigned seat during your do now at the end of class. It also means to clean up after yourself and to do your work, to try your best when you come in to do your best work. If you're coming in and doing your best work, you're going to get a good grade. Um, it's not about how beautiful it looks. It's about the effort and how much of yourself you're putting into your project. So you three things, sit in a sign seat, clean up, and do your best work. Number three, be safe. So being safe in the classroom means, A, always putting your backpack away so we don't trip on it or get them dirty, all right? Always keeping your tools either in your hands or on the table, never on the floor or never in the air. If you throw anything in this classroom, that's a, an immediate reflection and parent call. Um, I want to make sure that everyone stays safe in this class. The last one, and very important for this classroom, is there's no horseplay. There's no kind of pushing. There's no play fighting. There's none of that. Because when we have sharp objects or paint or anything beside these desks, if you start playing around, that can really be, in for, um, really be unsafe for someone else. And be an ally. In this classroom, I really expect for you to, if you someone asks, hey, where is something? Or if they ask you a question, help them. Or even if you see something that they're doing wrong, it's okay if they don't ask for help. You can say, hey, you know, the, the whatever is over there. Those are my expectations for, um, that's what be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and be an ally looks like in the art room. So the next section is what happens if you have a bad day and you don't follow these rules? Number one, and, and as long as it wasn't throwing objects or something that really hurt someone, will be a warning, okay? I'll just give you a warning and say, you need to make a better choice, or please sit in your assigned seat. This is your warning. If you're still having trouble, then we're going to move seats, and that might either mean just moving seats, or it might mean moving to the reflection zone, which is right here. Okay, by the board when you come in, the reflection zone. All right, so if you move seats and you've changed your behavior, then that's fine. If you still haven't changed your behavior or you're refusing to move your seat, then you're going to go straight to a reflection. In the reflection zone, there are always the reflection papers um, that you will have to fill out. So you'll go there, you'll fill out your reflection paper. When I have time, I'll come and look at your reflection paper. If I feel like you have fully reflected and you're ready to move on, then we don't have to have a parent call. If you haven't done the reflection sheet or we're having trouble communicating, then um, that means that the, I'll move to the next step, which is a parent call. Um, if these things are not working, then we'll have to have a teacher counselor meeting outside of class, uh, most likely during um, lunch, teacher parent meeting, or office referral. Now, this being said, if you do something extreme like fight or use racist language or um, do anything that is extreme, you will have to go to the office. But for most things, um, hopefully we can manage them here in the classroom. Now, I 
will be consistent with this plan. If I'm not, you can call me on it and say, hey, you did, you know, you're not being consistent. I want to be fair and I want to treat you as a partner here in this art room. Um, but you will get as much freedom as you can handle. So if you're ready to move on, you follow all these expectations all the time, you're going to get to move around the room freely and have access to the materials. If you are not following these expectations, then I'm going to keep you close, okay? You're going to stay close to me. We're going to be maybe filling out reflection sheets to figure out the best way to behave in this class. But we all mess up sometimes. I'm here to help you. You're human, and um, that's okay. So you should have on your sheet, you should have filled out all the things it means to, um, what it means for be respectful, responsible, safe, and an ally. And you should also have the seven steps filled out of what happens if you forget to follow those rules. Okay? Your behavior contract that you have here, you need to take home and get signed um, with your parents. They need to have a signature, your signature, their signature, email, and parent phone. And my information is there too if they need it. Please tell them to write it down. This is your first homework assignment and it's due um, at the end of next week. If you finish this, uh, you are now ready to move on to how studio experiments work.